Science Leadership Collaborative has been running for four months now. The SLC 2022-2023 cohort has been participating in workshops, mentorship, peer learning, and self-learning carried out within the project. They have taken their time to go through these activities while still working and fulfilling their respective jobs and duties in their home institutions. Bound by the same spirit to create collaborative future, we hope this project can help transform them into more effective leaders, champions who can shape the future of their respective fields of expertise, the ecosystems they operate in, and ultimately, in the nation societies. Let's get to know their stories and backgrounds through the following introduction video to SLC 2022-2023 cohort. My name is Mesa and I am an educator at the Maya Technology Program at Majaya Catholic University of Indonesia. In my research group, we focus on biodegradable plastics. These are new generation of plastics that are considered more environmentally friendly because they can be eaten up by tiny living beings called microorganisms. However, there are conflicting results that show that not all types of biodegradable plastics can be degraded as efficiently in the environment. So my research group is exploring ways to use microorganisms to speed up this process. So uh, even though I started off with my research project, I've always considered myself as a teacher first and then scientist second. And I love challenging my students to express what they have learned in class in creative ways according to their talents. So that's all from me and I look forward to knowing all of you better in the future. Bye bye. Hello everyone, my name is Ayu Krishna Yuliawati. I am a researcher and lecturer at Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia. Also, I'm a senior advisor for a Sales Development Initiative, a consultant and think tank uh, located in Bandung. Uh, being passionate about uh, research and about uh, making a uh, change in the community, in the nation, uh, I have conducted uh, many research in different fields uh, or topics, uh, climate change, um, disaster mitigation, about uh, investment in disasters, about entrepreneurship, green entrepreneurship, about youth, uh, gender, and about youth gender and the environment or uh, disaster, and also about uh, conservation, and about uh, tourism, about marketing, about business in small islands, uh, and etc. Uh, even though there are varying topics that I uh, research and I conducted the research in or uh, conducted community empowerment program. But they're all, uh, all of the topics are interrelated and can contribute to uh, the betterment of the society or community I work with. So being in this, uh, accepted in this program is something uh, very exciting for me. And I am enthusiastic into working uh, with uh, collaborative uh, projects with the peers in this uh, program and the facilitators and the mentors. So uh, thank you for this opportunity to join you all. Bye. Hello everyone. My name is Resi Christiana. You can call me Resi. Currently, I'm working in Mero Foundation, Marine Education and Research Organization based in Bali. I'm working as a director and also as a researcher. My research focus is about marine microbiology. I do isolate some bacteria symbiont with marine organism and I try to find the, bu the bioactive compound in, from the bacteria uh, to initiate the drug discovery. For example, 
uh, against human pathogen bacteria such as E. coli and also Staphylococcus aureus. Not only research, in Mero Foundation, I also working with the local community how to solve the problem, specifically it's about plastic. So I'm very excited to follow this program. See you, thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Mas Rizky Anggun Adipurna Syamsunarno. I'm a lecturer in Faculty of Medicine Universitas Pajajaran, Bandung, Indonesia. My basic background is a medical doctor. I'm a little bit different with medical doctor that you see in hospital or clinic. While my clinic college treat the patient directly, I spend most of my day in laboratory to study, to study basic medical sciences. I learn how everything is working in our body, in healthy or in sick conditions. I focus to study how the metabolic process play roles in non-communicable disease such as lupus disease and communicable disease such as tuberculosis. I also study animal model disease to understand the disease pathogenesis. Right now, I put more effort to study the role of normal weight obesity in cardiovascular disease. So that's all for me and I'm glad to hear story from you. See you! I'm Laila Alfirdaus. Uh, you can call me Laila. I'm a faculty member of uh, Department of Politics and Government. Faculty of Social and Political Science, Universitas Diponegoro, Semarang. Um, my background of study is in political science uh, and my specialization is in public policy. So my work uh, deeply related with the politics of public policy. So it tried to learn what is the politics behind uh, public policy why a government make particular policy and try to understand uh, which interest and whose interest is actually represented in the policy making. Nah, uh, why I'm focusing on politics because I had to be politician but I like to read and also to talk about politics. So that is why uh, having a career as political scientist is one of the middle way. <laughs> Uh, to uh, keep my interest on politics alive uh, and another thing is that you know that I used to work with government and also used to work with non-profit and civil society it really enriched my point of view because I can then understand why government take that decision and why civil society uh, act in that particular uh, way so I think, you know, politics is as fun as infotainment and music. Bye. Um, hi everyone, my name is Adrian Tiono. I'm currently a member of Sumatran Tiger Conservation Forum or Forum Harimau Kita and I'm also a second year PhD student at the University of Penn United Kingdom. Um, my research interests actually like focusing around ecological modeling where we run a population modeling to estimate the density and distribution of wildlife which sometimes can take days to run um, also human wildlife interaction where we try to find ways for human and wildlife co to coexist and the last one is evidence-based conservation where we would like to see the effectiveness of current conservation program in protecting wildlife and also empowering local communities so and my thesis research which is will be the focus uh, of my research in the next two years would be uh, combining social and ecological information to inform the conservation of tigers we're talking about human and wildlife we cannot focus only the wildlife but we need to focus on the human to better understand the relationship and how to better conserve our biodiversity and actually i'm really really excited uh, to be part of this uh, amazing program like we just started and i already inspired by all the works that has been done by the participants facilitators and the mentors and i hope in the next nine months i can learn more from you all share my knowledge and experience and hopefully we could collaborate together to make indonesian science better thank you terima kasih hello everyone i'm habib muhammad sahib you can call me Habib. I'm a lecturer and researcher of socio-environmental accounting or accountability 
from Universitas Fajar, popular as UNIFA. In my free time as a researcher and chief of UNIFA's Research and Community Service Institute, I do my other professional jobs, such as becoming an accountant, an auditor, and a sustainability report practitioner. And also, as I grew up in coastal like cities, I love to swim and snorkel on some little island near Makassar City. Hopefully, by joining this Science Leadership Collaborative, or SLC, I can expand my research capabilities and research network, and maybe sometimes I can go snorkeling with other researchers to take a short vacation from doing research. Thank you, SLC, for having me. Hi, my name is Fantasia Hukong. But you can call me Fenty. You know, like in Starbucks, tall, grande, Fenty. I'm a second generation of researcher. I choose to study aquaculture economics. In 2020, I wrote my PhD dissertation about sustainable stream farming. Currently, I'm working as a research manager in Yayasan Inobu. Yayasan Inobu is a non-profit research organization that works closely with farmers. We work to achieve sustainable and prosperous rural economics, which benefits fisher, farmers, and forest-dependent community while protecting and restoring nature. Yayasan Inobu is based in Bali. Although we work with farmers in central Kalimantan and West Papua, which makes me travel quite often and I love that other than hiking with my husband and enjoying Balinese delicious food I'm looking forward to collaborating with you in the future See ya! Everyone, I'm Yosmina Tapilato and I'm currently working as a research scientist specializing in deep sea bacteria at the Center for Deep Sea Research, the National Research and Innovation Agency, or PRL Debrin, Indonesia. I am an extremophilic microbiologist by training, and I chose to study deep sea bacteria because it is one of many deep sea bioresources that are still understudied in Indonesia. Indonesia is a maritime country with 70% of its territory covered by seawater. And Indonesia's marine environment in the majority, if not all, has a depth of more than 200 meters. Yet, eight years later from our center's inauguration in 2014, we still do not know much about the deep sea ecosystem in Indonesia. I hope in the next 10 years, our research groups in Perel, they would be able to answer research questions such as what are deep sea organisms in Indonesia? Who is present in our also understudied deep sea ecosystems such as hydrothermal vents, cold seeps, and twilight zones? What do they do? How do they interact? And how best could humans sustainably use and preserve them? It is my sincere hope that this program will be the beginning of a bright future for science leadership in Indonesia. Thank you. Hello, my name is Indra Chandra. Now, currently, I'm a lecturer at Telkom University, Bandung. My specialty of my background is in the atmospheric environment, instrumentation system, and physics as well. Particularly, I'm using low-cost based sensor for air and water quality monitoring system. I'm glad to be here as a cohort or participants in science collaborative leaderships. I hope that I can learn from others with different perspectives. I hope that I can develop new skill to amplify my positive vibes and to fill the empty parts of my weakness. Networking, collaboration, science and technology based problem identification as well and as well as what solving are many things that I want to learn here. Thank you. My name is David. Um, I'm working as a scientist at Osaka University, Japan. Uh, my main theme is about virology and its molecular aspects. So I work with many viruses like SARS-CoV-2, Hepatitis B, Dengue virus, and many more. Um, apart from it, I'm also studying about the antibodies and the immune response when the virus uh, try to infect humans. Um, apart from my uh, 
professional <laughs> daily activities as a scientist, I also like to do science communications. Um, currently, in the terms of research, I'm collaborating with several partner institutions in Indonesia, especially for vaccine and antibody research. Um, well, I guess that's all for me. Then see you around. My name is Pujung Matmanto, and I'm currently based in Malang, close to where I work at the Department of Food Science and Biotechnology, uh, Universitas Brawijaya. My research area is in industrial biotechnology, and I'm currently interested in studying probiotics for food, feed, and fertilizer. And I realized that research in microbiology is still underexplored and became interested in studying probiotics for use in food processing and personalized medicine. One of the reasons why I applied to the SLC program is to develop myself into an effective leader. What I hope to see in the future is that Indonesia becomes one of the major contributors in scientific discoveries. Um, and personally, I wish to develop science education uh, more engaging, more fun through movies and games. Um, that's it about me. Uh, thank you for listening. I'll see you in SLC. Hello everyone, my name is Rizka Ayu Purnamasari and you can call me Rizka. I'm a researcher at Innovation Center for Tropical Science or ICTS. Joining the ICTS um, as a non-government organization um, that engage with the people, um, community, and also the farmer made me realize that the technology nowadays uh, has not been fulfilled the needs, especially for the farmer. I have a multidiscipline background. Um, I train in the agriculture science uh, in the PhD program, as well as uh, biology, biochemistry, and also the application of remote sensing and geographic information se sector, especially for the agriculture. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, see you uh, in uh, the program. Sandika, you can call me Aziz, and I'm a lecturer and also researcher from Faculty of Engineering, Universitas Indonesia, to be precise, from Civil Engineering Domain. Well, talking about my research domain, I am doing my works in damage slash fracture mechanics and crack propagation on concrete structure. I study experimental work and also numerical simulation using finite element method. And years after PhD life, my research domain is extended for alternative construction building materials, still on damage mechanics, actually. And actually, from this science leadership collaborative program by the Conversation Indonesia, I have a lot of and very big, big hopes. Hopefully, it can help me as newly entry Indonesian researcher to finding the way to our steps to realize some hopes that we have. So, I think that's all about me. So, see you and goodbye. My name is Maya Puspita. I am now working in one of private companies in Jakarta uh, as a manager. And our company uh, focuses on seaweed trading, so we do uh, an export uh, activity uh, mainly to Tunisia. Um, I'm also active as um, uh, a member in Indonesian Seaweed Association. And my last research was about seaweed farming. Uh, in collaboration with the Chinese uh, Association. Hopefully this program will, will be a great opportunity for me to expand, to broaden my, my knowledge, my insights, and also my network. Best of luck for all of us. Uh, see you soon. Bye. My name is Suwarti. You can call me Ati. I am a postdoctoral fellow at Edmund Oxford Clinical Research Unit. In my previous and current research, I'm interested in analyzing dose between diagnostic of tuberculosis 
and also the effectiveness of uh, TB vaccines and other vaccines as well as SARS-CoV-2 infections. Currently, I'm working on the uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, vaccine analysis uh, in the real-world effectiveness study in Jakarta area. Um, my hope and expectations following this SLC is I can be more in, open to any network collaborations and I have information about how to develop the leaderships so it is happy it is such an honor for me to be part of the group and see you in the session bye Hello, my name is Amalina Gaisani Komarudin, but my friends usually call me Nana. I am working at Eichmann Research Center for Molecular Biology under National Research and Innovation Agency, Indonesia. Uh, my field of specialization is molecular biology, includes the virology, uh, mammalian and bacterial cell culture, recombinant protein expression, uh, protein purification and antiviral activity assessment of the compounds. So um, last year I'm honored and challenged to be part of the vaccine development project, the so-called Merah Putih COVID-19 vaccine. And currently I'm working in a collaboration project with Edinburgh Napier University. And the project is mainly about the antiviral activity of the compound against the dengue virus and Zika virus. I joined SLC uh, is because the program offered by SLC uh, is the things that exactly what I need as an early career scientist in Indonesia. So yeah, and so looking forward to start the program. See you. Hello everyone. My name is Lori Ratnasari. People call me Oli. I am a medical doctor from the Faculty of Medicine University of Indonesia. I work also as a lecturer at Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Islam Negeri Sharif Hidayatullah. And in the faculty, I work with molecular pharmacology, herbal development, and drug delivery systems. And it's a challenge for me and also for us, I think, to find new drug candidate from herbal sources. Additionally, it is also an interesting focus since through my studies, I can validate that our daily cooking spices are not only spices, but also can act as a supplement or a potent drug candidate. And as a lecturer from the biggest Islamic university, I also work in the project how religion influences medical and health program as an integrated approach and nice to meet you all hope we can make a further collaboration thank you hello my name is Fajar Jistiawan but my colleagues and my friends usually call me Aji I am currently a PhD candidate at the Graduate School of International Cooperation Studies at Kobe University in Japan but I am also also serving as a lecturer uh, in the International Women University in Bandung Indonesia so basically, my research focuses on the recent development and, and its legal and political consequences of the Basel Convention as a treaty regime. I joined the SLC program because I think that after after I get if I get the PhD the degree, um, I feel that I haven't been equipped enough with the during the during the, my study time, and um, I think that. If I want to, to strive as a, a young scholar, I need to prepare myself not only academically but also in, in research management and also in how to get the grants which is one of, uh, one of the aspects that I think I lack the most. Thank you very much. However, you can call me Ita. From the SLC profile, you already know that currently I work at Universitas Gajah Mada as a lecturer, scientist, and also physician. But there are some facts that probably you haven't known about me. First, my, ch my childhood dream was to be an astronaut. However, I didn't make it, as you can see. 
When I was a child, I really liked to read about uh, books about detectives and also great scientists and inventors. With that, I realized those books inspired me to be a scientist. Well, that's it for now. I recorded this video at night when my three children already fall asleep. And I'm so glad to go through this journey together with you all. My name is Firman Zulkifli Amin. That can be called as Firman. I'm a clinical doctor who currently serves as a director at a company called MFK Baraka Corpora. I focus in dermatology, dermatologic surgery, and regenerative medicine and stem cell biology. My current research studies is about nigella sativas or habitus sauda potential for COVID-19 treatment. I completed my doctoral study at the University of Tsukuba, Japan in 2019. I also hold two patents in Indonesia, one of which is for the treatment of COVID-19. In 2019, I was selected as one of 21 candidates that contend for director of the University of Indonesia position. Thank you. I am a lecturer at the biology department of the science and communities of I am a biologist and interested more in molecular biology, especially research in biodiversity using molecular tools. The question that we want to answer through our research range from species identification population genetic and also environmental DNA or DNA. It seems complicated but I had so much fun working on it. I enjoy teaching and try a couple of different things in between just to challenge myself. In the future I want to make the science more fun for people to try and to understand. Um, and importantly I really want to learn how to communicate science effectively to the general audience. That's all for me. I'm so excited for this program. I'm excited to get to know all of you along the way. Um, see you around. Hi everyone. My name is Naima. I'm on my second year of PhD in School of Geography, Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Melbourne in Australia. Uh, I'm currently doing my uh, field work in uh, Sangiha. It's an archipelagic district in North Sulawesi province. Um, my topic of interest are related with coastal development, community resilience, uh, public policy, um, gender, and uh, things related to how communities navigating uncertainties related to uh, developments, climate change, and um, lots of multiple things happening at the same time. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Budi Kusuma. You can call me Ali for short. Currently, I am working as the Dean of the Faculty of Life Sciences and Technology in Sumawa University of Tech, West Susan Tenggara Province of Indonesia. So, my research interest is in the field of the extremophile microbiology and biotechnology, where I am exploring the biodiversity of the extreme, extreme microorganisms from various Indonesian extreme habitats and by prospect their activity for several bio biotechnological purposes, notably biomedical science, drugs, industrial enzymes, time, 